Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Wax with Alex. I'm Alex, thank you for joining me for another video. Today I'd like to talk about different ways you can fragrance your vehicle using Scentsy products. Um, Scentsy does have some um, products that are geared for fragrancing your vehicle, but we actually have quite a few methods of fragrancing your vehicle that work well, and I might lay, um, I might talk about a couple that are probably not good for fragrancing your vehicle, um, just so that you're aware of the risks of some of our fragrancing methods. So first, I'll probably talk about scent circles. Scent circles are thin, they're cheap, they're like a, a shaped cardboard piece, usually circles, but sometimes the licensed ones or special occasions have different shapes. Um, they don't last typically very long. Um, they have, they can already come with a string hanging on your rear view mirror or wherever you'd like on the back of the chair or whatever. Um, these do have oil on them. So if they rest against something, they may affect the material they're supposed to hang free. Um, and you can get them in pretty much every scent that we have in the catalog, scent of the months, anything like that. They come out in a scent circle as well. So if you want to try a scent, these are a great way to do it. Um, they're also a great way to, to scent your car. They don't last particularly long. I find usually an average of one to two weeks, sometimes longer, sometimes even shorter, and it's a little disappointing, but it's a great way to find out if you like the scent. <laughs> Next, I want to talk about um, car bars and car bar clips. So the car bars um, come like this. They come in a little package. Um, and they actually have a corner that you can peel off. This is to preserve the fragrance. They used to come more like the scent circles, but they have a little corner and it just peels the back off and they come with their own um, elastic string as well to tie in the rear of your mirror or wherever you'd like. Um, these are also supposed to hang free. They have oil in them that could um, harm something if it's sitting next to it, like the, the leather or faux leather or anything like that, the dash material, anything like that, it could damage it if it's sitting next to it. I haven't had any bad experiences, but I know that that can happen. Mm. Still smells a little bit. Um, so this is a car bar and this is a car bar clip. They're slightly different in size, but like same shape, same idea. They're basically the same material. Um, they come in a pack of two, the car bar clips. They have clips that come with them that you just pop in the back and you can pop them right into your air vent. I find these are really good in the winter time because you have the hot air blowing right through and it's blowing against the scent and it, it's perfect. Yes, okay. Next, I will go to probably my favorite method of uh, fragrancing a vehicle, which is using the mini fan diffuser that we have and pods that go with it. So I'm just gonna get those. So the mini fan diffusers come in a little box like this. They're very small. Um, and this only works if you have a USB or a USB like to plug in your car outlet. Um, this one is silver, but we have a range of colors. I believe we have six or nine colors just in the catalog right now. They have a micro USB. If I remember, I'll put a picture up here of, of which end this is um, in case you want to get a longer cord, but the short cord is nice. I believe this is about a foot and a half. I don't think it's quite two feet. Um, and so it just plugs in to the fan. There's no on and off switch. As soon as you plug this into a power source by USB, the fan inside here will start blowing. It pulls air through the bottom and blows it out through, through a pod, which I just put down somewhere. <laughs> through a pod. <laughs> the pods come in two packs or you can bundle and save for a pack of like three two packs or six two packs um, to save a little bit of money. They come in a pack of two um, and if you're not using them you can pop them back in their little container to preserve the fragrance. This is an old go go mango that I had. So they just sit on top on here and as soon as you plug it in the fan goes on so it'll be blowing fragrance through which this one I find these work really nice in vehicles. Um, I have also seen which is really nice if you want to hang it I'm just gonna see where the edge is here. If you wanna hang it or tip it on its side, that you can do that without the pods falling out. If you take the label off, this is just a label, pop this in here. And I'm just gonna pop that over top there. So you can do it a little better than that. But then if your plug is in kind of a weird spot or you have to hang it over the, the clutch or whatever, not the clutch, you know what I 
I mean, if you don't drive standard, um, that, that uh, you can just hang it wherever you need access, if you have access. And um, I really like those. So that's really cool. And the pods come in a huge range of fragrances, um, like a crazy amount now. And in the, in the past year, they've come out with so many different. I have a lot. And I love, oh, Go Go Mango is a great one. Amazon Rain, Bonfire Beach, um, Johnny Appleseed, Blue Grotto, Sunkissed Citrus. All those are like fantastic scents. Um, really fresh or fruity, depends what you're looking for. We've got all sorts. Um, and I'll go to the last kind of method that I know people use and I've, I've used before and it works pretty well. So another way you can scent your vehicle is by using our buddy clips. So they are already um, have, they already have the scented beads sewn into them. So you don't have to like put a scent pack into them for them to be scented. They're already scented and they stay scented for quite a long time. And I find the heat in the car in the summer and stuff really seems to help release the fragrance when they're just kind of hanging up and they're cute. Like if you want these on your dash or the back of the car or like hanging from the mirror, they're super cute. So this one is the um, dinosaur that we have in the catalog. He's in Tropic Tango, I believe. Oh, he's great. Okay. And we have Lana the Llama in Pineapple Pucker. Oh, she's, she's starting to, oh, there we go. She got, you got to move them around a little. I finally stay fragranced for an extremely long time. Um, and I didn't get to show you guys since I'm talking about the bunny clips. Um, these guys, we got these guys just as a little order. These, both of these as, um, the scented beads as scent packs are fantastic. And I have to say, this is in the Dumbo Circus Parade. I, I have one cube left of an old bar when it was released, not just recently, like two years ago. Um, I have one cube left because this scent, something, something turns my stomach in this scent. And I know many people find it popular. Like it's a, a very well-loved scent, which good for them. <laughs> Go for it. Save it, put it in your club if you want to keep it or, you know, when it was available, it'll come back around. Um, something in the wax, uh, turns my stomach. So I didn't even think about buying scent packs. Well, I picked Timothy Q up, um, just because uh, uh, I know my kids love them and stuff and I'm like whatever if he I've got lots of other scented stuff that he'll probably it'll drown out that scent and I if I don't want to smell it I love Dumbo Circus Parade Circus Parade Circus Parade um Circus because I've heard some people say citrus and I know there's citrus in it and Citrus Parade would be a cute play on words so I keep messing myself up so Circus Parade so in the beads, I love it. Whatever note it is that I don't like in the wax, I do like, like everything smells fantastic. I'm smelling his butt because that seems to be the only spot I can get the beads, but he smells amazing, amazing. Every time I walked into my daughter's room, I was like, oh, this smells great. Um, so next time that comes out, I'm getting some either scent packs or if they come out in pods, that'd be cool. Um, so I just wanted to say, sometimes that happens, sometimes you can not like something in one fragrance method and actually really enjoy it in another. Um, it can really change how your nose perceives it. If you don't want buddy clips, you can always use a buddy, like a full-size buddy. Um, in the car, just sit them, sit them in the back seat. When it gets nice and hot in the summer and stuff, the scent pack will be nice and scented or when you move it around when guests come and sit in the back, it'll be really good. So, I mean, you could use a full-size buddy as well in your car to fragrance it. Okay. I want to move on to how I would not fragrance my car with Scentsy. I just want to give you some warnings or some methods that haven't worked for me, um, just so that you are aware that not, not everything works for everything. You know, there are some products that are best left for what they are best for. <laughs> okay. So first off, I have used scent packs in the car and I can't seem to find a good method of having good airflow distribution to make the scent move around the car. So I would just say like, you could tuck it under the seat or like if you could hang it on an air vent, that would probably work best. But I've I've put it under the seat and I've hung it on the back of the seat and I still just don't get enough airflow to make the scent worth it from a scent pack. Um, so I wouldn't use that. Um, here's a, here's a, an example of a scent pack. They're filled with the same beads that are in our pods. 
Um, they're just already sewn into a pocket. It's about two pods worth. It is about two, it is two pods worth in here. Um, and it's the same type of beads and they have a little elastic hanger if you want it. Second method that I would not fragrance my car with, with Scentsy. Room spray. Why? Because it has quite a bit of oil in it that will release into the air and fall down. It's not a big enough area to spray it out and get absorbed in the air and stuff. And I wouldn't want the oils in the room spray to affect any of the materials in your car, like the dashboard, any leathers, anything like that can be affected by the oils landing directly on the material. So I would not use room spray unless you may be spraying a carpet that you don't care about in your car. And third, <laughs> almost sort of like the room spray. This is Scentsy Fresh, it's sort of like a Febreze. If you are trying to be careful about materials in your car, I wouldn't use this. If you just wanna have your carpets and your upholstery in your car cleaned, like the seats or whatever, if you don't have leather, this would probably be okay. You probably won't notice anything. But if you're very particular and you don't want anything, like the chemicals really change how um, the materials react. So I just, I wouldn't want anything to happen to any materials if you're trying to be careful with the dashboard or any leathers or leatherettes or anything like that. So I hope that was helpful in finding ways to scent your car using Scentsy. Um, I know there are some like sort of other methods that people are trying or using. Um, I just don't feel that they're as safe or as easy. These are already just really easy. I really like the fan diffuser. That's probably my favorite. And the car bars are a nice added like whoosh if you have airflow um, and the heat. I find the sun is really good. So like I, the buddies are really great in the, the summer. And then I like the car bar clips and stuff in the winter when the heat can like hit them. Um, yeah. So do you, you use any of these methods or are you interested in trying any of these methods? Um, I was a little skeptical of the mini fan diffuser until I tried it and now I love it. I have yet to use it anywhere else, although I do really like it. Um, is there anywhere that you've used your mini fan diffuser other than your vehicle that you've really liked? I am curious to know. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much for joining me for this quick video and stay tuned. I'll be back with more videos soon. Bye.